It was here on this beach 10 years ago that Ahmad Hassim survived one of the most vicious shark attacks ever witnessed in Cape Town. Hassim and his brother Tariq were training for their Lifesavers exams at the time. I saw this massive triangle just turn itself and come towards me. Didn't attack me at first, just came up so close um, that I could actually crawl along its body as it swam past me. At that point the shark took me underneath the water and dragged me for about 50 to 70 meters towards the depth of the ocean. I was hanging on the side of the, the shark's body and I was actually just dangling there. Um, and that's when I could see the sheer size of how big the shark was. Lifesavers managed to rescue Hasim, but his injuries were so severe that the lower part of his right leg had to be amputated. Rather than hating the shark, Hasim is thankful, as he believes the great white set him on a new path. During his rehabilitation, which included swimming, he met Paralympian gold medalist Nathalie Dutois. The rehabilitation process was quite tough, um, but I was in the pool before I could even walk again. <laughs> and um, I really took to the pool like a shark in the ocean, really. And um, one person that really inspired me to get back into the pool was multiple world champion and para Paralympic record holder Nathalie Dutois. In his first Paralympics in Beijing, Hassim finished six in the 100-meter backstroke. In 2012, he bettered his performance and won a bronze medal. This year, Hassim believes he can do even better. Preparation is going pretty well. Um, at the moment, we're getting towards tapering, so you know a lot of short but high-intensity sessions, um, and just making sure that when I get to Rio 2016, uh, I'll be a force to be reckoned with, and uh, definitely hope to take my bronze medal from London and uh, change the color of it and make it gold and bring it back to South Africa. It's almost exactly 10 years since the attack, and perhaps this year will be Hasim's golden year. Julie Shara, CCTV, Stellenbosch, South Africa.